Hello, my name is Michael Wheaton, and these are the responses to my interview questions. And there are three big questions, and we're going to try to keep this in just a few minutes. But the first question is a little bit about myself and why did I become a music teacher. And I don't really feel like I chose music as much as it chose me. And I've done it all, kindergarten through grad student. I've done general music, choir, band, piano, guitar, jazz bands, music theory. But my first job was teaching at daycare centers through the Grand Rapids Public Schools. It was a summer job. I just went around to different daycare centers and taught taught music and it changed my life and I changed my major. I was a political science major. I went back to Western, became music ed, and I haven't looked back since. I just am a music teacher. It's so much of who I am. And why specifically Jenison? Really the answer is Les Rousey. I taught two of his daughters at Western and I had a lot of Jenison students at Western and they were always first class. First class musicians, first class people, just a joy to be around. And Jenison is just has such a great reputation for excellent music education. And I really got to know Les in the summers. He would come to the Steve Zagree Vocal Jazz Camp, and I was the executive director. And we became friends, and we talked a lot about this, the family atmosphere of Jenison. He always wanted me to come to Jenison. And two of the co current teachers, uh, Grant and Kyle, are former students of mine at Western. And just the quality of the staff is just so well known. And the school so supports music. I mean, just the Grammy School and the Fine Arts Center. Just look at the Fine Arts Center. You know this place supports music. And to be able to get in on the ground level, to get the students while they're at the elementary, help them to grow, and you just see the great collaboration that the school does through elementary, middle school, high school, the bands and the orchestras all combining. And it's just a really cool team and family atmosphere that I want to be a part of. And the third question is, what's the difference in my top priority between first grade and fifth grade lesson plans? And really, the difference in my top priority is nothing. My top priority is the same no matter who I'm teaching and what I'm teaching, because in music, everybody has this seed of loving music. I really believe that. Every culture we've ever studied, antiquity on, all over the world, all cultures have music. We have that inside us. And so to help that to grow, just to build that love of music, and so many people use music to divide. Like, they put on headphones and they block out the world and, and or they I like this kind of music and this and they use that to define them but to separate them where music is something that can bring us together and just to help nurture that and help that to grow and help get that teamwork and community through music and my real priority is just helping that become a part of them and share that and that's obviously a big part of Jenison to meet them where they are and help that to grow a huge thing for me is music literacy. And so that's where the big differences come between first grade and fifth grade because they're on a huge different scale. So the first graders, it's more about just experiencing it, getting the beat, clapping the beat, moving to the beat, and really ingraining it. And they can start doing a little bit of the music reading. Where the fifth grade, they read music. They've done the ORF instruments. They've done the recorder. And they're singing in harmony. And so you want to keep growing that skill and keep because they'll enjoy music so much more the more they understand. It. And so just to help them grow and to bring them to where we want them to be, where they are sharing music with the community. That's a team I want to be a part of. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch the video.